Thank you. Oh, good morning, uh, Chairman Doe and members of the board. My name is Ken Stahl. Uh, I am a uh, proud member of People for Housing Irvine, uh, of People for Housing Orange County, and a resident of Irvine. I'm also a professor at Chapman University Fowler School of Law, where I teach local government law, and I direct the school's program in uh, land use, real estate, and environmental law. The reason I'm here is to speak in favor of the uh, uh, resolution of the Board of Supervisors regarding housing. Uh, as I'm sure many of you know, we are experiencing nothing short of a housing crisis in Orange County and in the state of California more generally. Uh, and there's very little debate that the reason we are experiencing this housing crisis is because of a shortage of housing that's desperately needed at all income levels. Uh, and the shortage of housing is having a number of, of uh, consequences that are unwelcome. Obviously, middle income, lower income people are being priced out of the county. Homelessness has been on the rise by 54% in the last four years. Uh, young people under the age of 65 are fleeing the county. Every age group under age 65 is shrinking in Orange County, except for the over 65 age group. And this is because we're not building enough housing. Uh, and I want to bring to your attention something that I hope will help my cause, which is that uh, very recently the Democratic Party of Orange County Central Committee uh, enacted a resolution similar to this one, uh, not, not identical in any way, and I've circulated it for your review, but similar in the sense that, and I think in a landmark way, recognizes that at least in this instance, regulation of land use is often a problem rather than the solution. Uh, and I say this as myself, a proud Democrat who realizes that our party has sometimes been part of the problem in thinking that regulation is always the answer. Uh, but housing has been a bipartisan failure um, in, in California and across the country, and so it needs to be a bipartisan solution. And this is really an opportunity for both parties to work towards what I think we really need, which is to reform our zoning laws to allow more housing to be built and to ensure that the people who wish to say yes to housing are heard as often and as loudly as the people who always say no to new housing. So the Demo Democratic Party's um, resolution makes clear uh, that we need to get rid of overly restrictive land use regulations to allow more housing to be built. And it particularly singles out ballot box zoning initiatives and referenda that restrict the development of affordable housing, because I'm sure, as many of you know, several cities in the county have either enacted or are considering right now enacting ballot box initiatives that would restrict housing growth. Uh, and it's our view that that would be a disaster because it would only further exacerbate the housing crisis that we're experiencing. Uh, so so the, the DPOC resolution uh, mentions ballot box zoning uh, as well as uh, zoning regulations enacted by city councils. Uh, and uh, we'd be delighted to see the Board of Supervisors join in a bi fully bipartisan way and acknowledging that excessive land use regulation is part of the problem of the housing crisis and uh, reforming the land use regulations is a way to solve that problem. Thank you very much for your time. Can I